We could see the Morphling again, but it feels pretty slow with the Templar Assassin. Ah, they go for the Weaver. Okay, that makes sense. Tiger making his way down might spot. Oh, he sees a courier. They need to be aware of this right now, and I don't think they are. So Tiger's just going to happily take this little donkey down and uh, now turn around and start on 33. Fighter comes over, though. He's got the slows, but can he hold them back? In comes a Grimstroke as well with a stroke of fate. 33 tries to take the return kill onto Mickey, but it's not going to happen. 33 goes down as your first blood in the bottom lane. Ooh, this bear nearly going down there, but Limp not quite able to finish the job. And now Quake forgets to resummon. We continue harassing Limp a little bit here as Tyker's coming in over as well. They need that route and they will get it. And now with the Midnight Pulse coming down as well, Limp dropping very quickly. Tries to go for the turnaround kill. It's actually going to be able to get this one. But Limp will go down as well. Meanwhile, Boxy drops in the top lane as Fatter's in some trouble. Trying to get the blocks this time. Not quite as successful as before, but still keeping that vision through onto Fatter. The right clicks are going to be there. And Tiger will get himself that return kill onto the Crystal Maiden. And Quakevert, the big winner of this middle lane. Yeah, Nico Baby, though. Yeah, he knows exactly what's going on. Perfect read from Nico Baby there to just get himself the hell out of here and uh, to somewhere safer. They did not have any vision, so it's really important to note here that they had no vision of this. This was just a pure read from Nico Baby, but he gets it absolutely right. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, they're going in pretty deep right now as a courier has passed away. Quake with a double damage bear, trying to take some chunks out of Hanskin. Hanskin happy just sit on the front lines right now, trying to find maybe Tiger, maybe Insania, maybe Quake for, They've got options open right now. Quake for's going to be the call as the silence comes back to Insania, but Quake for not going to be making out of that one. Tries to pop the ultimate to make something happen for the extra P, but we'll go down and they're gonna keep on going here. Tiger's gonna be the target and Tiger will drop as well. Yeah, this, this could be risky, but he is going to get the deny, and they might just try and go without the Doom right now. Boxy being surrounded by all angles, beleaguered and brought down. Boxy takes a death in the top lane, but did get the tower deny for it. Meanwhile, at mid, they've got the double down. Meanwhile, the rupture onto both, but a black hole as well. Tigers get set up easily in the middle lane as Liquid will draw blood. A neutral items first spawned at five minutes. And he got one at five minutes, gave it to your mid laner. I was just like, well, this is broken as hell. The mid laner just got himself basically like he loads a regen as long as he pushed the lane out. And they go for the duel up in the top lane. Weaver's in a lot of trouble right now. Quakeflake comes running in with the Inkswell and the Bear. Might not be able to get the kill with the duel, but they can certainly bring Nico Baby down all the same. And that's the only important thing. The camp's going to be the next target as well. Mickey coming in over. He's got himself a Rupture if he wants to use it. And I think he will. Rupture throws down Doom in some trouble. Is there anybody coming in from Alliance? They're thinking about it. 33 is nearby, as is Fada. They're going to go for this one right now. Fada coming in from behind, dropping that old and it is good. Insania gonna drop and Quake for as well. Not getting out of that fighter with a double with a fantastic ultimate. And meanwhile, they found the Bloodseeker doomed up in the trees, trying to get his way out of this one. Can only turn around and fight. He's got a blood right when he comes back, but not much else. Meanwhile, Boxy has been finished off. BK trying to get his way deeper. He goes, but there is no escape from Fada. Not with a frostbite out. A huge response from Alliance. They, they just get away with anything. And Hanskin just gonna plop himself down in this middle lane, trying to defend the tower, but there's a fight going on right now as the split's been used. Mickey's gonna be the target, powering on into the Bloodseeker right now. Mickey just gives his life for not a whole lot. Insania's gonna be the next target here as Alliance gets started on him. The uh, Brulings are already searching for more, and they've thrown Boxy up into the air as they finish off Insania. Boxy, I think he's gonna be alright here. They can't look for anything more than this, but still very, very sloppy from Liquid, and they're looking for more here. Koikva's gonna be the target. Koikva running around the trees, but Limp is on top of him. Nico Baby coming, flying on over. Quake is going to pop that true form right now. Jumping through the trees, and now the black hole comes in. Landing onto three. 33 is going to throw himself into it. Why not make it four? Limp's going to get blown up. Fada not looking too healthy either. A TP out. Not going to be successful from 33. The duel comes out, and Boxy will win it. Down goes 33. Alliance finally punished here. Three heroes left to dead. Yeah, if... if we have some more fighting over outposts right now. These teams really, really wanting these outposts from each other. But I think Hanskin might have given his life for this one as he is surrounded by heroes. Nobody TPing in to help him out here. Yeah, they're going to save it. They're not. They just want they just want Quakeford to grab that kill and get it over with. Leaving nothing to try. Oh, uh, hello, Nico, baby. I'm not sure this is where you want to be turning up to right now. They're going to use a duel to get the first kill onto him and a little bit of duel damage for free as well. Will they be able to set up for the second one? Oh, they get him. He still gets the security off, but it doesn't really matter. No time lapse for you, sir. And now Nico, baby, is day.
Just trying to keep him healed up here, but Nico Baby's on top of him. Boxy just hopping into him, and there comes the black hole coming down onto the Weaver, and they're going to be able to bring him down here. Courier does get away, but Nico Baby and Koikva both falling. Meanwhile, Fada and Hanskin fighting up together despite being soul bound together. They're going to get rid of these uh, phantoms. Now turn around and try and fight up Boxy. Limp has arrived to the fight, but Mickey is looking very speedy right now. Some nice side blade hits. Going to continue the damage onto Boxy, keeping them coming. They might be able to do this one as in comes 33. He's got the split. Is he going to use it? Yes, he is. He wants to grab himself some kills. Boxy's going to be the first one to go down. Mickey forced out with the BKB. Trying to get himself to safety. It's not going to last that long, though. Can they keep their eyes on him? Oh, Hanskin just about missing, but they still keep it coming. There is a shrine here, but there's no one to TP to it and no health going to come out of it. And Mickey will be dropped. Alliance just about scraping through with another fight victory here. Yeah, shove that little bear in, see what's going on. Limp's thinking about it, the duel. Oh, no, Boxy now out of position. They've got him caught out, but do they want to engage onto this guy? Not really. And sending it from the high ground, throw down the silence, and in comes Tiger. He's got a nice black hole coming down. Will they be able to take down more, though? Fada's going to be the target. He's going to drop. Limp trying to fight up into the doomed Bloodseeker, but he doesn't care. He's just going to kill him anyway. Boxy running out of health, however, as the uh, splits are bringing him down. The rock collides, and he is going to drop. Meanwhile, yeah, Insania just getting the deny on to Mike with uh, not that much damage on Insania. He's just turning around, chasing them back. Will eventually be dropping here, which is going to mean three dead for Liquid. You, you certainly cannot. Amazing, I did actually know that one. And they've got the ward down. Beautifully done from Insania. Yeah, look at that. Do they have the damage to bring him down? Yes, they do. Nico Baby's going to drop. Hanskin coming in, though. He's looking for revenge right now. Coming forward onto Boxy. Yeah, he might be able to get... He actually just time lapses straight the way back into this one. What's up, dudes? I'm back. Meanwhile, Limp tries to bring down one, and he gets a TP out of that. And we'll see uh, Nigma just TPing back to base. Insania might be forfeit for this. He doesn't mind, though. He just got to buy back on the Weaver. Made that kill even more worth it. He would have died for just to kill onto the Weaver, let alone the kill and buy it back, but it does mean they can pressure this tier one tower and probably going for more here. They want to make this buyback worth it on Nico, but a doom? Hello? Oh, Bloodseeker caught out massively here. All right, well, they did find a way somehow to make that buyback worth it as Mickey tried to go for a bounty in there. Yeah, the, the tiger, he's making his way over, and here he comes. He's going to drop down the Midnight Pulse. Is it going to be enough for the dieback kill? On to Nico, baby. Yes, it is. Just in the nick of time, they bring down that bug, and now Hanskin also going to be in some trouble as well. The fear brings them right back into the waiting arms of Boxy and the Bear, the famous duo, as they fast forwards with Quake for there, using the uh, pressy attack to give him a little bit more attack speed and purge, but uh, Fada does a pretty good job of controlling that bear, but in comes Lim. He's got a lot of damage and another black hole. It's pretty damn good. Holding Templar Assassin still trying to bring her down. She's still alive inside her BKB, and Boxy will actually fall for this one. They haven't bought down Limp yet, and it's only even his first life. But in comes a fear. Finally, they finished the job, and now he's going to come back without a BKB. Can they punish? They're going to need something here when they've got a rupture, but they blink away immediately from Limp. They're pretty damn nice. The Force, he's taking a lot of damage right now. The Refraction Charge just run out. Mickey's just charging at him right now. Limp trying to turn around, trying to hold his ground some last dying breath, but it's not going to do a thing. Meanwhile, Farda getting beaten in as well. It's another kill for Mickey. Key gets the double, and Liquid take a huge fight once again the games come flying back into the other side of the court i think they can quake for loan when's the form he He's got a little bit of time left, and they're going to try and jump in on this one. Can they stop them doing it, though? The Ancient is falling. Brewmaster tries to go for a duel there. Brooks, he's going to bring him down. The Ancient getting low, and it is going to fall. It doesn't matter. Alliance cannot keep them off that throne. Team Liquid going to be taking the Weaver for a spin this time around as Alliance end their draft up with Rubik. Easy life. Proceeds this arcane rune here. Might want to pick that one up just for the uh, fraction spam. Meanwhile, down at the bottom, Nico Baby trying to grab some uh, hard creep camps at the same time as well. That's a dive, deep dive up a top lane. The tiger's going to grab that one. Meanwhile, 33 trying to chase Mickey. Give him a little bit of what for. Into the trees they go. We were trying to uh, dig here. Make a little bit of a mistake. And they pop the dust. They might get the kill. The shield's going to pop, but it's not enough damage. Mickey will survive for now. 33's not going to be able to set eyes upon him. Meanwhile, Tiger trying to throw the rock. Just slowing 33 down. Having him take a whole chunk of damage. Mickey coming forwards. Hanskin does have the mana for a Fate Bolt in one second. So Mickey's got to be careful. The Fate Bolt comes out and he grabs the kill. And now they go towards Tiger as well. Hanskin is going to survive this one due to the side, but it's not enough. It's too big a boulder. Meanwhile, 33 still continuing to chase onto Tiger here. And he gets off that Curse of Avernus continuing to just chop away at the Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit's got the smash in one second. We'll throw it out onto 33, forcing him back, but 33 just going to keep on chasing right now. But the roll away, Tiger's going to get himself to safety. Yeah. 
Looks like it. Getting to the right side. They actually use a time lapse, Mickey. Just trying to get the extra space onto Hanskin right now. But Tiger is dead. Hanskin, he's going to get chased to the death here, I think. But now Weaver silenced up and getting beaten down by 33. Weaver, 33 actually pops a shield there. I think one more hit might have done the job. Keeping on chasing, though. He only has a courier here as well. And he finds a kill onto Mickey at last. Leveling up that Miss Coil and popping a shield himself and bringing down Mickey. Making the plays. Koik for getting low. Hanskin coming in over as well, but they try and kick him to safety. Koik for trying to play with his armor and doing a great job so far. Fada coming over under the cover of smoke. Lift back throw down. Frostbite comes out and they finally get the kill onto Koik, but he will drop. Now they look for revenge though. The bugs are out onto a couple of heroes. They're trying to get them off. Mikke drawing them in circles right now. Meanwhile, Tiger getting real low. Nico Baby will finish the job. Mikke trying to find the kill here as they go in for the duel onto the Rubik. Rubik should be dropped. They need a little bit more, but they will finally finish the job. But now Boxy's in some trouble. Going his way over to the trees. Mikke as well. Trying to take the outpost here, actually, and he should be able to do so. Has a time lapse, will use it. Meanwhile, Boxy can finish off down at bottom. Limp and Fada get to work and bring him down. Nico, baby, though, he's still going pretty crazy here. Chasing Insania under the tower. Tiger comes rolling through, lands onto Limp. I'm not sure if that was on purpose, but it doesn't really matter. As Nico, baby, finally finishes off Insania. It was a long chunk down. Meanwhile, Limp still slowly losing his life. Gonna go invisible here. Trying to wait out the clock, but I don't know what he's waiting for. As Koifer comes back into this one, he brings a packet of dust with him and brings him down. Meanwhile, Tiger still on the run from Nico. Nico gets inside the catapult. You can't do this anymore, Nico, baby. Pops out the other side. Rages up, but I think he might be going down here. Mickey's on top of him. Koik for insane. He has so many heroes in the side of Liquid trying to chase down Nico, baby. He's getting into the trees, getting under the tower, but Nico, baby, finds him and Mickey will be dropped. Sorry, Nico, baby, will be dropped by Mickey. Last the lift the damage. Where is it? The science comes out though, holding back the Crystal Maiden and stopping that Frostbite coming in immediately. But he will build but the moment they pause the Pretzi attack. The Frostbite comes in. That's going to result in a kill onto Boxy. Meanwhile, Tiger and Insania getting themselves back. Mickey as well on the sidelines, but the tower's a thing which is being focused right now by Alliance, and I think they've got this one dead to rights. 50, 20, 0. Meanwhile, Limp, he's found himself an extra one. As down goes the Warlock, Insania gets killed off as well here. Alliance finding a lot of pressure. Oh, and they're jumping forwards. Fada, the little crystal male, and getting beaten down in the river. She's put to sleep. Meanwhile, Limp going to get a couple of hits off a of tiger, then blinking self up to safety. And also, that was a very nice lift coming out there from Hanskin to stop the uh, Huskar, who was ready for him and already just about to jump onto the TA. And they're straight into this pit right now. They want to make some usage out of this BKB, out of the kill onto Fata, and they're going to immediately start taking Roshan. Lysila running around the back just to go and deal with this ward. That is his whole sole purpose during that. He knows that he's probably the most likely to survive in that situation. So, they're going to hold to the front lines. There's that upheaval coming down. The King of the Roche Pit makes himself known. They kick back 33. It's so close to going down. And Koikva will be able to finish the job. Grabs the ages. Nico Baby running in. The disarm is out onto the Huska, however. But he's jumping forwards onto Limp. Needs to be able to hit him. Finally, able to get to these right clicks off. Limp getting chased down on the sidelines of the fight. Meanwhile, everything's split up right now. Weaver is frozen solid. Can they finish the job on him? It looks like Mickey might be dropping here. Yeah, they do get the kill. But Limp is already in the grave. Dead and buried. Meanwhile, 33 bringing in the middle of everything. Popping that burrow time. Trying to make them space. They take down the Huska once. Now they need to take out the supporting cast before he comes back to life. They bring down one. Now they go over towards Tiger and he's going to be brought down as well. Koifer though coming in from behind. Not sure you want to do this, buddy. He's got to get himself back. Is only getting up to the high ground right now. Doesn't really have much to offer to this one as they just open wounds him and focus on Koifer. They have one goal right now, but Koifer is jumping back in, but he gets disarmed once again. This Heaven's Halberd from Nico Baby doing so much work controlling up this Huskar, allowing him to get the kill nice and safely. Insania is going to be the next target here as they chase him around the cliff and Insania, that's, he's just Stuck. He's just gonna die. <laughs> I think Leafin might want to take this fight. Oh, there's gonna be a lift on Boxy. Seeping in right now, 33. He's trying to go for the capture here, but realizes what's happening. Gets himself back. Meanwhile, Golem onto three. High holding them back off Boxy. Boxy on the run, trying to get himself out. Meanwhile, Insania's the one being focused down. He's already dropped the rock, though. Not sure if that's a target you want to try and bring down. Koifer diving in. The BKBs are popped. They're looking towards Tiger. Tiger's gonna be the first one to fall. Second one to fall, in fact, as, Tiger, as uh, they jump forwards onto Mickey. Mickey does actually get that time lapse off, though. Alliance showing a little bit of restraint, but Nico Baby is in deep, and he's looking towards Boxy right now. The rest of Alliance regrouping, regrouping gathering, recuperating, and getting back in on this one. Meanwhile, Koikva being right-clicked by Nico. Nico, a threat on the front lines, but 
without this Vasha, without this AC, he's really not doing much damage, but just constantly ticking away at people. He's getting pretty damn annoying. And now Lynn's jumping on top of him as well. Here's a real dash with the BKB pop from Koi for trying to turn this one around immediately. Jumping forwards onto Hanskin. 33 set on fire as well. Weaver chasing him, but he's disarmed. We'll finish the job there. Meanwhile, in comes a hit from Limp as well. That's going to finish off Box here. Now Koiko finds himself all alone except for Mikke. Nico Baby can't really keep on hitting into Koiko like this. He's just not doing enough damage. And Limp has suddenly found himself with a Huskar on his face. He's going to drop. Disarm comes out onto the Huskar. Nico Baby needs a way out of this one. He's got the rage in one second and he will be able to TP away if he wants. But will he have the health to do that? I mean, they do have a lot of damage to offer. Fadda's in from behind as well. Catapulting Nico Baby away, though. He is done for. Ooh, Nico nice Baby roll. hits the sack. Fadda in some trouble as well. Koikba going insane right now. And the with Fadda going down as well. That's going to be a rampage for Koikba. The Husker, 26 minutes in. Uh, it's on uh, Earth Spirit currently. Tiger's holding on to it. And they are actually going to be able to bring down the Rubik here, I think. Although the heals come out from 33, they keep them alive a little bit longer. They need a bit more. They don't have it. In goes, oh my god, the Esper onto the front lines here, but he's being beaten down so quickly. But down comes a Golem. Tiger's still alive through this. The Helm of the Dying will be popped now, but they've got so much damage out onto the Alliance heroes. And now the duel comes out. It's onto the life They're controlling him up. Meanwhile, Weaver nearly drops, but gets the time lapse off in time. Tiger's been dropped. Fabric going to go down as well. Swarm thrown across the fight. Nehemiah and Nicole Baby looking for a target. The target's going to be Koikva, the Koikva, and Boxy gets getting back across the river. Alliance hold their lines, barely, but they hold it. Fada TPing back in as well. Alliance, they still commit to uh, this. They're gonna get that Most important thing, the rock is down, but the uh, Warlock's still strong with all his other spells. There's gonna be a lift on LC. Is he gonna feed? No, he gets forced up. Mika oh, in the trouble. Mika is dead. He's gonna get popped. Stunned on the front lines. What What caught him out there? I didn't even see. Oh, it was the, the lift down. After oh, after he got forced, forced. Yeah. he got the lift down, and that was the stun on Weaver. Uh, Wahaskar's dropping real, real low, looking real hurtful right now. Beautiful toggles, though. Buy him a little bit more time, but Hanskin with the lift. Meanwhile, the duel on the back lines, it's not enough to bring down the TA, but in comes Koikva, jumping right across the fight. He's still alive. Disarm's coming out. Liquid holding. Fada finally drops. Nico Baby pops out full HP, but Koikva pops the BKB and turns this one around. Looking for a target. 33 is going to be the man for him, and Koikva is going to be able to finish that guy off. Wicked Six Street now for him. He's looking forward. They want the life stealer, but life stealer's pretty far away from this one. Hanskin finally gets finished off. Nico Baby going to grab that double damage rune, if anything, just to deny it from the hands of Liquid for this Roshan attempt, which they're inevitably going to go for. It literally just knocks people back 300 units and slows them for three seconds. It's, it's extremely underwhelming, I've found, but maybe we'll see some use out of it. There's a tall guy going in the middle lane. Oh my god, they go for the jewel straight away, but the life stealer, he's not dying. Nico Baby, he's just tanking up through the entire damn thing. Now get inside 33. There's going to be his ticket out of here with the borrowed time. 33 should be okay. Fada, meanwhile, on the front lines as a crystal maiden. That's not the recipe for success. He's going to be brought down pretty quickly. Does have the buyback. Meanwhile, Hanskin not looking particularly healthy either. Boxy back on the high ground. Going to get the kill onto Hanskin, and now they're coming up for the barracks. Nico Baby coming in, trying to defend this one limp nowhere to be seen in this engagement the disarm is out onto the weaver weaver though just gonna run around a little bit here inside that's a Kuchi moving so damn fast nico baby just trying to clear out the catapults when he's got the time to but koifa comes jumping in onto nico baby here nico baby's got the open wounds but the rock comes down stop him from healing up but he's gone he's gonna have to buy back into this one if they want to stand a chance of winning this fight meanwhile limp trying to cause some damage on the back lines here going on to boxy but now with the heroes turning around weaver and Oh, Haskar just do so much damage to Limp. My goodness. Oh, they're keeping out. Oh, so smart from Liquid. Does it indicate when heroes have buyback when you hold alt now? Oh, that's very nice. Oh, nice. Love the future. Yo, I, know, I didn't know this. Oh, Limp jumping forward. They're going with the Golem onto Mickey. Can they take him out? No, he gets a time lapse off in time. This could be really bad for a They try and turn this fight around. The Golem now coming out onto them. Where's the second one? They don't need it. The duel comes out onto Nico Baby. Nico Baby not going to be surviving this one. Trying so hard, but he's gone. 33 unable to save the day. And now they are all dropping like flies. The TA is dead and the game is over. Just like that. Liquid makes so it to quick. the major. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah.